so putting these on, I turn it towards the tail, uh, putting the cord through, kind of want to come from the armpit side and just separate the feathers so you've got the basically feather, wing feathers on the feather, back feathers on the back, pull that cord between and just around the front of the wing. Uh, they're a little hard to get the cord to sometimes. I just have some needle nose pliers and put a little end of the shock cord sheath just pulled off the end with a little melted tip so you can actually get it through those holes. Uh, same thing on the other side, pulling it the wing up, just kind of separating those feathers between the, the back and the, and the wing. Slipping that cord around. Um, holding the bird when you put it on, you want to hold them under the sternum, and if you just get both legs well, held up high towards the body, you can put a hood on, they calm down pretty well. Um, basically just so you can have their wings in a relatively relaxed position. And then getting the, the tension on the backpack again, if you get their wings in a, as a relaxed position as possible, um, make sure they're, you're not like hitting them with your arm too much, just so they sit down. And then sometimes they like to hunch their shoulders when you're holding them and they're kind of uncomfortable. So you just sometimes press the wings down a little bit if you're holding them up. And as far as the tension goes, you should be able to kind of wiggle it around, even the tension out left to right, front to back. And then comfortably get a finger in there without really stretching the cord much. Uh, basically very little tension if any uh, when the birds relax so the only time they're really going to be stretching that shock cord is if they're flapping their wings but generally not really putting any tension on the skin otherwise uh, with these i think to just do a square knot um, make sure it's not a granny knot strings are going the right way Snug that up, try and do the uh, loose ends, snug that first, pull those other ones and just kind of pull it back. Double check that your tension is still good and didn't mess it up tying the knot. And then put a dab of glue on the knot. ring on each side, the hog ring both to make sure that the knot doesn't fail, um, basically so you're not just depending on that one little knot between there, and also prevents the, the cord from unraveling back. Good. Same thing on the other side. Make sure that they're squeezed out pretty good. Kind of got to work them around and make sure there's not any sharp tips pointing out that's the rub on the bird or the transmitter. And then cut the ends off pretty close to the hog rings. Singe the end so they don't unravel. Probably can't see it on the video. That's all right. Uh, then band them if you want to band it. Just again, kind of double check. Basically, just real light tension, if any, right there. Uh, if it's a full-grown bird, a hen or a tom, do it like I said. If it's a smaller Jake or Jenny, give it just a little bit of more. A little bit more slack, maybe like two fingers comfortably under there. But that's about it.